Yes, hi, this is Laird Kreiner. Uh, I'm one of the owners of Film Emporium. We are an insurance brokerage specializing in entertainment, licensed in 38 states. I think the uh, first important point about production insurance is the fact that we're brokers. So that means that we represent you, the filmmaker, uh, not the insurance company. An agent would be somebody who represents the insurance company. So uh, our job is to find you as many options as possible and um, the pros and cons of each. You know, sometimes the lowest price isn't the best policy for you, but, but again, we're brokers and we're gonna fish around for you and find you uh, all those options and educate you on the differences between each. Um, speaking of that, there, there are three major areas or reasons why one would want to purchase insurance. Uh, the first is asset protection. I think the easiest example of that, the clearest, would be a cameraman and his camera gear. Very important that he ensures this. Uh, these are typically very economical policies, well under $1,000 uh, for equipment values of, let's say, up to fifty or $60,000. Um, they're annual in scope, and they protect an asset. So that's number one, protecting an asset of yours, your concern, your property. So that, that's one of the main reasons for insurance. Uh, a second reason would be a legal reason. And the, the best example of this in the filmmaking community would be workers' compensation. And uh, a lot of filmmakers are under the impression if they're hiring people on a 1099, very temporary basis, a week, a day, that these independent contractors, these freelancers, that the um, company, the production company, does not need to insure them for workers' compensation. Clearly, the law in New York and California states that's not the case. Uh, unless these individuals have their own workers' compensation, you need to cover them. And it's quite unlikely if someone is an individual acting as a gaffer or a cameraman and you're paying him as an individual that he would have his own coverage. So, again, point number two, reason number two for insurance would be a legal one, such as workers' compensation. Um, the, the last issue is one that would um, we run across all the time with filmmakers. That's contractual reasons for insurance. Um, one example would be if a cable outlet or network funded your project. You got greenlit, funded, there'll be a contract. In that contract, invariably, invariably will be insurance requirements. And these insurance requirements uh, typically include property and casualty coverages while you're in production um, and we'll get into all the different types of insurance policies out there uh, as well as the specialty product called errors and emissions which is often in the um, network contracts if you're greenlit for a specific project but certainly if you take let's say your indie feature to Sundance sell the project a distributor will be asking you for are an errors and emissions policy. So these are two examples of contractual requirements. So again, the three reasons, main reasons for insurance would be asset protection, a legal requirement, or a contractual requirement.